All right, Shalom, part two of Rastafari, Black Christ, color blindness, color blindness, can color blindness be healed? Can the color blindness be healed? The scripture says, and science says, more light. And we touched on this in the first part, but the first part was more on the melanin and the, and the black dot um, and, and, and what John's uh, gospel says, Johannes Wengel, as well as what um, what a Rome Sawoch Amelikut says, or the epistle to the Romans of Hawaii of Alos, Paul, right? Now, here we're going forward to speak on color blindness, and I'd like to give a, a demonstration of this because in color blindness it said that, for example, if you're looking at green, right, we'll use green as an example. You're looking at green. One person will just see a bunch of green circles or dots or whatever like that, while, uh, who's colorblind. But another person will see a hidden message. I mean, it's clear this hidden message is not really hidden. We shouldn't even really say it's hidden. It's only hidden to the one who has the color blindness. Isn't that interesting? It's only hidden to the one who has the color blindness. So we're using this um, outer example to explain an inner metaphysical, right, and a metaphorical as well aspect of the scripture, but which is being revealed in these latter days and times, even through um, uh, science. Mm -hmm. so there's a tendency for one to think, oh, on, at an ignorant level of so-called religios, right, religios, religios, and religios is the Roman Latin word. The only word that we have that we translate from the Amharic would be hymenote, and the root of that is the amen. So once again, we're full cipher from part one to this right here, part two. So let's go forward right here and just explain that. Think about that and that color blindness with the color green. What about well, we have, let's, let's bring up this demonstration that we had promised that we would give this demonstration. So right here, right, right here we have um, this uh, balance. This is the balance, right? Now, if you make it brighter, right, if you make it brighter, you can see the details of the face. Notice how you, you can see the details of the face right here if you make it brighter. Once again, let's look at the preset. You see the preset right there, right? You see the preset. Now let's open up the balance again, right? Open up the balance. Remember it talks about the face, right? The face of, of God, the face of Christ. This is from true Christianity, what we call our Tawahedo. The true orthodoxy is based on the ancient teachings, right? A lot of whitewash and, and Roman, R Romanism has crept into the Ethiopian various churches, and there's a spiritual warfare. There's a war on for your mind. There's a war on for your soul. But when we return to the scriptures, right, and we study the word as Yeshua advised us, as well as what is clearly revealed to us, we can know the truth for ourselves. So let's go through this again. So we lighten it up. You can see some of the features. The features of the face become more apparent. You can notice also the redness, right, the redness of the, of the hair, which is interesting in this particular ancient um, icon, right, the ancient icon from the early church. Uh, uh, there was a whole phase called the iconoclast phase, as well as the whitewashing phase where the ancient images, many of them which portray the true humanity, the true flesh. We have to get beyond the flesh, but we first have to recognize and be truthful and honest about the flesh. If we're not honest about the flesh, if we can't deal with the things that we can see, then how be it we're going to deal with the unseen things? You see what I'm saying? So let's, let's explain, ex expand this right here. So if you move up, I'll move the contrast. You see how contrast is important? See, so we can even learn something from, from art and, and, and through these technologies about the true spiritual wisdom, the higher technology, right, of the spirit to, to understand and comprehend, right? So you see, you can see more of the features there. Now, this is the gamma. Now, the gamma, you see what comes out, but if you move it very much, it, it lightens up, it widens up. Right, you move it right there, and you can almost see how the European imagery, 
right, of the face of Christ is still based on the true black. See, a lot of folks will say, oh, this person has European features. And then when they meet Ethiopians, and we have this actually on the record, they'll call Ethiopians, at least from classical Orientalism and um, a more intellectual academic form of white supremacy, they will call Ethiopians, and it has been written, and, and it's, it's also we have an audio of a, of a half an hour um, clip that's ancient Ethiopia, I forget the exact name right now, but what they call Ethiopians dark-skinned Aryans. What? You know, many, many have saw that clip and asked us about it. Now, when you go the other way, right, when you go the other way, let's see what happens when we go the other way, when we darken it up. So when some folks think of the black Christ, this is what they see, right? I mean, and you can look at this image and you can read into this anything your ignorant um, imagination, you understand, or your vain imagination want to read in it. So when some folks see, you see when it's, when it's kind of darkened, right, when there's no light. So how can we heal color blindness? As we begin to, say, balance off the gamma, and the gamma is a heavenly cosmic, it's one of the highest vibrations of light, right, the gamma rays. And you can look that up. As we begin to see the features more, right, we, we begin to see the features more pronounced, right, the face, the features, right, you know, and you can tell that these, I think these were either Greek or Russian. A lot of the early images, basically, you know, of Christ coming from even the catacombs in Rome, which the Vatican has shut down some of the catacombs, the catacomb system, but some of the pictures have already gotten out, and we clearly see. And then we also see how some folks take these same pictures and they whitewash them through di digital technology. So that shows you that the light truly shines in darkness, but the darkness, the ignorance, even though the evidence is like looking at ancient Egyptian wall paintings, and we're saying that these people are black peoples. But they're not black peoples from a Western Gentile stereotyping. See, in the Western Gentile...